calculus uh, video number uh, four. Also, they are just solving for some derivatives, right? Let's continue. We are in number uh, nine. Those are very simple derivatives. <clears throat> but at the end of the chapter, for sure, we are going to solve very important, very important things by uh, graphing. Yeah, yeah. How, to, how to graph, how to draw, how to graph the derivative from the function, from the graph of the function. And that will be really fun. Okay, what is the derivative of this one? Let's leave 1 over A outside, right? Let's leave 1 over B because it's a constant. 2 times 1 over B, it's 2 over B x minus 2 over a right minus okay what is uh, this is constant over x what is the drift of, of constant over x it's minus constant so it will be plus the constant over x square it's a rule we can directly apply the rule or we can raise uh, the x power 1 to the, the uh, numerator it will be minus d x to the power minus 1 and we work it will it, it will takes the same uh, answer for sure times one over a it's two over a b times x minus two over a square plus two uh, d right over a x square all right <clears throat> this one over here that's simple what is its derivative it's uh, minus eight times minus eight it's 64 x to the power minus nine and uh, 12, we leave it 12, it's k, right, over 2 radical x, applying the rule, k times radical x, what is the derivative of radical x, it's 1 over 2 radical x times 12, it's 12 over 2 radical x, we can rewrite it if you want, 64 over x power 9, plus 6 over radical x, all right, number 11, number 11, what is its derivative? It's uh, 42x to the power 6 minus 4 over 2 radical x, right? Which is equal 42x to the power 6 minus 2 over radical x. So again, it's k times radical x. So the answer is k over 2 radical x. The derivative of this one, before doing the derivative, I have to rewrite this one. <coughs> Uh, it's better, it's x power minus 5 plus x to the power minus 8, raising x power 8 from denominator to numerator, reciprocal, right? So what is its derivative? If it is y, what is derivative? y prime, it's minus 5 x to the power minus 6 minus 8 x to the power minus 9, which is equal to, let's say, uh, <clears throat> uh, 30, right? x to the power, what 30 I'm doing again? I'm doing the derivative again. No, it's minus 5 over x power 6 and minus 8 over x power 9. We can leave it like that, and it's better to write it like this. All right, number 13. <clears throat> I think so. I need a bit of space, so you can... You saw how we did those. If you need them, you can go back backwards in the video and see what we did. All right? Let me just remove some of them to have more space yeah let's let's continue we did until number 12 now number 13 number 13 is radical x plus 1 over radical x plus 1 over uh, okay so it's radical x plus 1 over uh, x power 3 <coughs> sorry so let me rewrite it as x radical x uh, plus x to the power minus 3. Derivative of radical x, it's 1 over 2 radical x minus 3 x to the power minus 4, which is equal to 1 over 2 radical x minus 3 over x to the power 4. This one here, we should first expand it. 6 times 12 is 72 x squared times x, it's x cubed minus 24 x squared plus 36 x minus 12 so it's derivative now it's easy 72 times 3 216 right x to the power 2 minus 48 x plus 36 and derivative of minus 12 is 0 it's constant also this one we have to expand it first it's 18 
plus 3 x power 4. I'm multiplying 3 with the other factor. Now minus x with that factor, it's minus 6 x is x, minus x to the power 5, and minus 2 times 6 is minus 12 x cubed, and minus 2 x power 3 times x power 4, it's x power 7. Now its derivative is, the derivative of 18 is 0, 12 x cubed, minus 6, minus 5 x to the power 4, <clears throat> and minus 36 x to the power 2. Now we still have 1, right? We still have 1, uh, minus uh, 14 x to the power 6, right? That's it. Now let me, uh, just checking if we have uh, like terms first. No, that's true. What is the derivative of this one? Again, it's very nice. I like those problems because <clears throat> sometimes it confuses students. E power 10 is a constant number. Pi power 3 is a constant number. Those are all numbers, right? This is an irrational number. So what is its derivative? The derivative is directly zero. Number 17, let's expand first. So it's equal. 1 over x times 4 over x cubed, it's 4 over x power 4 minus 6 over x power 5 plus 4 over x power 5, right? x power 2 times x power 3, and then minus 6 over, minus 6 over uh, x power 6, okay? Let me rewrite it as 4x to the power minus 4, minus 6x to the power minus 5, and minus 4x to the power minus 5, right? And uh, minus 6x to the power minus 6. Also, we can rewrite, rewrite it, simplify it more. <clears throat> 4x to the power minus 4, minus 6x power minus 5, and minus 4x to the power minus 5, like terms, so it's minus 10x to the power minus 5 minus 6 x to the power minus 6. Now we find it's, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> now we find it's uh, derivative. It's minus 16 x to the power minus 3 plus 50 x to the power minus 6 um, plus 36 x to the power minus 7. And we can also rewrite it as minus 16 over x cubed plus 50 over x to the power 6 and minus plus 36 over this is x power minus 7 over here so over x to the power 7 this is the final answer let me see okay we can do this one this is so simple the derivative of radical x is 1 over 2 radical x and sometimes uh, uh, the problems uh, that does not look the way uh, they look in. If we look at plus 1 over radical 3, this is constant number, what its, its derivative is 0. So the answer is only 1 over 2 radical x. Here, we should, for, for sure, uh, we should uh, expand this one. I think so we have time for that. So x squared times 2, <clears throat> x to the power minus 2, it's only 2. Because x squared times x power minus 2, we add the exponents, it's x power 0, x power 0 is 1, 1 times 2, what left is 2. Plus x to the power 2 minus 4, it's minus 2, plus 16 x to the power minus 1, plus 8 x to the power minus 3, uh, minus 8 x to the power minus 2. Are you following me? I'm multiplying, right? This times this, now th this one times that one, which is minus 4 x to the power minus 4. Now we find the derivative. Derivative of 2 is 0. Derivative of this one over here is, okay, we can add this one and that one, right? Or let me find the derivative first and then we add. We can find the derivative first and then we add in the final answer. This is minus 2x to the power minus 1 plus minus 16x to the power minus 2 minus 24x to the power minus 4 plus 16x to the power minus 1 to the power minus 1 and the plus 16x to the power minus 5. The final answer of this one is minus 2x power minus 1 <clears throat> and plus 16 x to the power minus 1, it's 14 x to the power minus 1, so it's 14 divided by x, minus 16 over x squared, minus 
24 over x power 4 and the plus 16 over x to the power 5. I don't think so. We left any one of them. And end of video. See you next video.